Good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, hope you guys are doing good today. I'm doing okay. Still trying to shake this little damn cold or whatever sinuses, whatever you want to call it, that I've been having for the last couple of days. Still trying to shake this, but yeah, so I'm gonna shit. I'm tired of going to sleep. Not being able to breathe. What the fuck? <laughs> but today is Sunday morning. And I think I told y'all. Well, yesterday was the day we did. I did my um studio. Well, I did the. Yeah, spent the day with me. Went to the studio and stuff like that. Today is Sunday. And it is my weekly reset day. That's the day that I'm planning to do every Sunday. Just a weekly reset not doing shit at all not working not editing no videos i don't even know if i should be vlogging but i mean i'm still not doing too much but vlogging <laughs> but um i plan to not do shit but more than likely i'm gonna get up at the bed and do something but it's supposed to be my recess day like just relaxing chilling just vibing just letting the day go by and not giving a fuck that i didn't do nothing productive today like what okay and it's sunday reset me for the week um it's also the first sunday of the new year january 7th the seventh day like what is this today does not get no better so i'm praying that i do have a successful lovely beautiful amazing day today and i pray that you guys have the same as well um i got my water over here i've been drinking a lot of water mm. i got my coffee over there i just scratched a few things off of my um off of my planner that i was supposed to do yesterday just wouldn't put check marks by them and the only thing that I have on my planner for today was weekly reset. That's it. Um, I never ended up folding my laundry yesterday. So that might be something that I do. Um, I did get to clean my room and everything else saw that. I did not get to clean my bathroom. So I might do that because I plan to take me a nice little self-care day. And take me a nice little bubble bath. With some candles. That sounds like a really fun time. Mm, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I might go to the store, buy me a couple of candles. Because I don't have no, no candles. When I be getting candles, y'all, I just get them, burn them, and they be burning all day, all night. And I'll have no more candles. <laughs> like, my candles really don't last at all. I got, um, but yeah, that won't be until later. So, I got my door locked. Don't come in here. Nobody bother me. Nothing. I, I, I don't want to be bothered by nobody. Don't come in here. Don't try to talk to me. I'm in my bed. I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. And watching TV. Drinking coffee. Drinking water. Probably gonna pick up my book and read my book for a little bit. I'm trying to stay off social media, y'all. Like, okay, well, I ain't gonna say I'm trying to be off, stay off social media. I'm trying to limit my time on social media. I deleted my Instagram. Well, I didn't delete it. I signed out. I log on there on the days that I post my videos just so that I can promote my, um, just so that I can promote my, um, my youtube videos but other than that i stay off instagram my main platform that i've been on is snapchat and youtube facebook i use facebook to promote basically 100 percent um and what else do i have i use i do tiktok so I'm trying to get more ideas about some more content to do. I need to start promoting my makeup brand more. Um, yeah, that's the main thing I need to do because I need to sell out these products so I can 
get new products in that's gonna be probably next on my agenda but to be honest that probably won't even be until after the twins get here to be honest because i'm not trying to be doing all that i don't know i don't know just depends on whatever god put on my mind to do that's what i'm gonna end up doing but the goal is at least by march april be sold out or if i'm not sold out i'm just gonna get new products i need to get my business back on because i've been at a standstill um i need to do more branded content you know like before i was doing like content that was me applying all the makeup like you know like as if i am a makeup artist and i'm not a makeup artist i sell the makeup i do my own makeup yes but i am a makeup brand not a makeup artist if if you understand what i'm saying so i need to do more content that is more about brand awareness support my brand getting my brand out there boss queen beauty is the brand so um I've been, I've been, that's the main reason I've been on Instagram lately is getting more ideas about brand awareness rather than makeup, basically. If, if that makes sense, y'all. So if y'all are some people that have a brand, I need some ideas. Let me know some, like, what should I do? Um, cause yeah, I'm going back and looking at all my videos. I'm like, these are makeup videos, basically. Make and I, it, I didn't realize it until after I met this girl on the airplane, and she was telling me that she's a makeup artist. You know, I go on her page. She's a makeup artist, and I was like, well, I do makeup. Well, I sell makeup. I have a makeup brand, and my videos are like hers, putting on all the makeup, like a makeup artist. Not me actually showing my brand, uh, showing the consistency of the lipstick and the lip gloss and stuff like that. So that's what I was like, yeah, you're not promoting yourself the right way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, now that I know that I'm not promoting myself the right way, I just have to actually do it now. So <sighs> that's the hard part It's actually getting it done so i need to schedule a day out of the week where i don't upload videos or just schedule a day or two out of the week where i do do my makeup but i am branding my makeup instead of doing makeup transitions and things like that so that may be what I do for my Sunday resets also is like planning my week or yeah, planning my week out, um, planning days where I need to do certain things, um, coming up with different ideas to expand myself, uh, coming up with different ideas on how to promote YouTube more and things like that. So that's probably what I'm going to consist that was going to consist of my Sunday weekly reset. Yeah. And this is interesting because, you know, this morning I'm like, I need some more content. Like I got two videos, three, I think I have like three videos that I need to edit this week. And two videos that I know that I want to do but that's not going to be until like the end of the week or like next week or something so I'm trying to um think of more ideas and so then I was like just pull the camera out and talk to the people and let them know you know what you got going on what you I don't know I don't know what <laughs> but that's probably gonna be on Sunday weekly reset um yeah y'all haven't taken my hair out of this um do-rag 
I have not taken my hair out of this do rag uh, since I got my hair done. Really, to be honest, I what did I do this week? Um, went to the doctor. I went to the doctor on Friday. That was my first time taking my do rag off, cause like my hair is so. Y'all see how my hair is. My hair is really silky. It's really soft so my hair will get messy real fast and I didn't want my hair to get messy real fast and my if I didn't have the style of locks that I did get my locks would come out my my twists would just come out and I don't got time for that shit either so I got this that's that's the reason why I got this style and I still love the style my hair is still fresh to be honest let me show you my hair is still fresh and everything because I keep this bonnet, this do-rag on. I don't ever plan on taking it off unless I'm going outside or... But I really ain't been taking it off even to go outside because it's been cold. I don't got no hair on my neck. I be wearing a hat. I be wearing... I put my do-rag on, keep my do-rag on, put on me a cap, and I go outside or... Like I had yesterday when I went to the studio, I had my do-rag on, had my hoodie on, go about my day. <laughs> Retwist is going to be in a month, probably. But you look. Hair still look like it was dead yesterday. Like, you heard me? It still look good. Now I got to struggle to try to put it back on because I don't really want to lay my head back on this bed and mess my hair up. <laughs> I don't know. I hope this TV is not louder than me. But right now I'm just chilling. I don't plan to get up and do anything until like way later on. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I kind of want to go get up, get up and go get me some cereal, but... We ain't got no milk. I don't eat no dry cereal. And, yeah. Just chilling. Watching TV. I'm watching Good Trouble. They have a new, uh, new season about to come out. I'm excited. So, I'm catching up on the last season because I didn't watch the last season. I had not even known that there was new episodes out, to be honest. The fuck? <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I just decided to take my camera out because your girl wouldn't have known what to talk about. I mean, like, I wouldn't have had no clue on what kind of topic, what was going to be my next topic, my next video idea. Um, but the idea's just been flowing to me. Or I would just, or my mind would just be like, just turn the camera on and just start talking. <laughs> I don't talk to them, like, I ain't gonna say I don't talk to nobody, but I feel like I talk to y'all more than I talk to the people around me, because I don't really talk to nobody like that. <laughs> I be in my own space, y'all. When I tell y'all I'm in my own era, like, I ain't really been fucking with people like that. I've been trying to get my YouTube up. Uh, I just been focusing on my journey, like my new journey. Like I'm trying to do better in life. I want better, so I have to do better, right? And sometimes that includes getting rid of getting rid of certain people, or not always talking to people, not always telling people what your plans are, and just keep everything to yourself until you hit that goal and then you spread the happy news like i achieved this goal i was you know this was my goal and i achieved it like not always constantly telling people oh this is my goal i gotta do this i want to do this i want to do that what's the point of you telling people what you want to do just do it and then when you do it then you share that so my goal for this was to do this and I did it. I achieved that goal. I accomplished it. I did it. Like that's what I'm trying to instill in myself. Like, cause the old me or like I'm not gonna even say the old me, but like before I would be like, 
I want to do this, I want to do that. And sometimes I end up not doing it. When I tell it to myself, though, and not tell it to nobody else, not even my own family, like, I just write it down. Like I said in one of my previous videos, write the vision, make a plan, and that's what I've been doing. Like, I've just been writing down my goals, and then once I achieve my goals, then I go celebrate about it. Then I go tell everybody, y'all, this is my goal. I achieved my goal, y'all. I did this shit. Like, I really did that. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself, y'all. I'm constantly growing, constantly evolving, elevating within myself and i'm really happy about that i am almost a thousand subscribers i'm excited about that too like y'all just don't know the lifestyle that i see myself in or you know having or achieving before these years over with i can just see it like i don't know i can't wait till my babies get here like i just I'm excited for everything that 2024 has to offer. I'm not even going to cap to y'all. I was thinking, I was talking to my sister the other day. And we was talking about, like, how long we've been at our jobs. And I've literally been with the same company for a year, y'all. That is a record for me because I have I never been on a job for... We were going to a year, like years at you know, like a year, like it's about to be going on two years for me, and that is a record for me, y'all. Like, I'm so proud of myself, so freaking proud of myself. I, I did the damn thing. So, once you really focus your mindset, understand your why, understand why you want to get something done, you gonna stick to that, baby. And we don't want to be a I'm excited. I'm excited for the journey. The journey is going good so far. Like, I don't have no regrets about nothing in life. I'm just really happy. But I'm going to see y'all in a little bit because I'm probably about to go back to sleep, take a nap or something. I don't know. Watch TV. <laughs> I'm just chilling. Hey guys, I'm checking back in with y'all. I have not gotten out the bed. Well, I did get out the bed to obviously get some water and stuff like that. But to do some anything else, still been in the same position. Did not move. It's dark outside now. And um, I literally just got up to warm me up some food. Um, this girl that was standing at my house, she had left some spaghetti and meatballs chef boy rd canned food in the pantry and i don't normally buy stuff like that but it was in the pantry and it was only one can and i didn't feel like cooking anything so i'm like let's try this out and see what it's hidden for so it's over here cooling down so we got to see what it tastes like i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like so y'all, this is what it looked like. You know, I added my own. I added some Tonys and some um, parsley and stuff in it to make it taste a little good. I haven't still didn't taste it yet. I don't know if I put enough seasoning in it or not. But shit, we about to try this shit and see what it tastes like. Y'all know I don't. I don't eat canned stuff like that, like spaghetti and shit. You took that lazy, you can't, I mean, I don't know. I never, I, I cook, never ate spaghetti out of a can before. So, this will be a first for me, and it's okay, because I didn't feel like cooking today anyways. So, I'm going to sit y'all right here. Uh, let me see. Sit y'all right here. Hopefully, y'all can uh, Let's 
I guess it's not that bad. No. Noodles are really, really soft. Whatever. But it's not that bad. I don't think it has seasoning like that for real in it. Because I mostly taste the seasonings that I add to it. But other than that, it's pretty good. So I'm finna finish watching my show and eat these spaghettis, I guess. Holly, get up after I eat my spaghettis and go take me a bath. Put on some cookies. Eat my cookies. Eat my ice cream. Watch some more TV until I fall asleep. I gotta get up for six. All right, I just I just finally got out the bed. I'm about to take my little bathy bath like I told y'all or whatever because I'm ready to get right back in the bed <laughs> no kidding I just cleaned out the tub and stuff even though it's still got some red stuff in there from when I dyed my hair the other day it'll be alright let me show y'all what I use as my bubble bath and stuff I use this Dr. Tim's foaming bath with pure Epsom salt. Um, I just started trying this actually because normally I would just get the regular one. But this one smells really, 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 really good. So, this is what I'm using. And I'll just put a whole lot. <laughs> Hold up. Oh. And now uh, we wait. Y'all, I done walked out the bathroom, forgot the water on. Oh, shit. Look at that. Ooh, feel it all the way up. Hope it ain't too hot. It looks so luscious. I can't wait to get in. Y'all, this tub feels so amazing. This water feels, oh my God, heavenly divine. I'm just about to lay back, sit back, relax. I got my YouTube right here. I mean, my iPad right here. About to watch some videos. I got my book right here. I might read a couple of pages, but I don't know. I might just watch some videos on my iPad. But yeah, so I'm in the tub and my water feels amazing. I am finally out of the tub. I was in the tub for about at least 30 to 45 minutes, but it was feeling so good. Then when the water was going out, I was just refilling it back up and watching my little inspirational videos on YouTube. And I was just chilling. Y'all keep getting these sharp ass pains at the bottom of my stomach, like at like like towards my bladder area, and it hurt really bad. I hope that's not a sign that the babies are coming. It's too early. I'm only at 31 weeks, y'all. Oh my god. I'm not prepared at all. Not prepared. Not one bit. I just bought the best in it. It's a twin best in it. I showed y'all. I just bought that. I don't got no car seat. I don't got no clothes. Got no bottles, even though I'm breastfeeding. I gotta get it together. I gotta do it fast too. Cause no telling when they ask it's gonna make their appearance. But hopefully it won't be up for another four to six weeks. <laughs> Cause uh yeah, mommy not ready yet. <laughs> not ready. My brother got some cookies, bacon. He made some butterscotch chocolate chip cookies. And they in the oven right now. I can smell them. They smell good. I'm waiting for them bitches to come out of the oven. And then I'm going to sleep. Because your girl is tired. Even though I've been in the bed all day. Relaxing, chilling. I'm still tired, okay? I don't want to wake up that early in the morning for work. But it is what it is. I'm going to do what I got to do. 
I'm gonna see y'all when the cookies get done, though. <laughs> Guys, I got my cookies. <laughs> Super excited. Y'all know I love dessert so bad. And having chocolate chip butterscotch cookies, butterscotch cookies, chocolate chip cookies are my favorite. Butterscotch cookies is close favorite. But to have them both combined together and a homemade, mm, 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 mm. let me show y'all what it look like. This is what they look like. Oh, yes, baby. About to bust these down and uh, go to sleep. Got my show right there. I had to pause it because I went to listen to my other videos and I heard it in the background. So I'm like, uh, let me pause it. But uh, I'm about to bust these down. Okay. I'm about to bite the first bite. Tell y'all what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. So good. You know how you be eat some so sweet. And you drink water right after. Perhaps I should have had some milk, but I don't have no milk, okay? But this is the end of this vlog for today. I'm about to bust these cookies down and lay my ass down and go to sleep. Uh, it was good talking to you guys today. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Sorry, I didn't say welcome. Did I say welcome in the beginning? I don't remember. But subscribe to your girl channel. And if you're not new here, welcome back my lovelies. And I will see you guys on the next video.